Well, I look for something because I invest, I'm an angel investor, so I invest really early. And I look for things that probably wouldn't exist without that company or without my money. I want, I want my money to have an impact rather than, and I want it to have an impact on what I invested in, not just on me personally. So, you know, if I put, and I made a lot of money off Google, which was great, but Google would have done fine without my money. So that was a nice lucrative investment for me, but it's not what I'm looking for when I do an angel investment, which is something that otherwise wouldn't have been the same. So I try to invest in things, number one, that I personally like. There are lots of really good investments, like maybe this monster blog platform that just, you know, I'm not that interested in and they'll do fine with or without me or I just don't really care about them. So I try to find something that I'm personally engaged by. I try to find something where I like the people. And whatever you invest in, you know they're going to have problems. So you have to ask yourself the question, well, when they have problems, will I think, oh my God, I wish I hadn't invested in these guys? Or will you think, boy, you know, I really want to f help them fix this because I'm passionate about what they're trying to do and so forth and so on. You want the people, and believe me, I haven't always been successful at making these judgments in the beginning. You want the people to be capable of changing their business plan and adjusting as the marketplace tells them they got it wrong. And, you know, you look for a business model and all the usual things and you want people to have integrity and blah, blah, blah. But I tend towards the things that are slightly more intellectual and early and kind of slightly offbeat. There's, there's various ones. Uh, I'm very proud of MedStory, which was a medical search. It was really a medical ontology company that we sold to Microsoft last year. Uh, NetBeans was a company in the Czech Republic that got sold to Sun Microsystems, and I'm now investing for the third time with the guy who founded NetBeans. Uh, let's see. Oh, Flickr is an obvious one that's probably one of the most famous ones where I was more involved than just... I was in Google through a venture fund. It wasn't even directly to Google. So at Flickr, I spent time with the founders and tried to be helpful. So that was, that was an important one. Um, right now I'm involved in something called CVO Group in Central and Eastern Europe, which is an online recruiting company. And in, in many of these things, you sort of, you don't really realize you keep helping them along and then suddenly you own 20% or something. So, which I don't normally intend to do. I'm an investor in Doppler, which is a, sorry, I'm about to become an investor in Doppler, which is along the lines that I mentioned, it's a site where you post your travel plans and share them with your friends. So, and of course, 23andMe is one of my favorites right now.